Let's face it, the days of easy SEO are over. So how do we rank a website in 2013? Well, there's hundreds of technical metrics, but really it boils down to two very simple things. Quality content and quality links pointing back to your website. So what better way to rank a website than by giving Google exactly what it wants? And we can do that by building our own private blog network. So the first step in this process is finding a high PR aged domain. To make this process easy, I use a service, a program called PR PowerShot because it will quickly show us the metrics that we need in order to make a sound buying decision. So here's the PR PowerShot interface. It's pretty simple. And the first thing that I'm going to do here is uh, I search without WW. I'm going to do end up doing both searching without and with. I just leave this all blank here. So in the settings here, uh, the, the second thing I'm going to do is I, I want to only go for top level domains, .org, .net, and .com. Uh, and then the next thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to turn off the, the page rank. I'm going to turn off all the filters. And then I'm going to turn back on three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, so these are the, this is the page rank of the, um, of the domains that I'll be looking at. It's going to filter out everything that is under PR3. And generally, it'll give me a nice list of PR3s and PR4s. The next thing uh, you, you want to leave this, you want to leave real ticked here. Uh, this will show you um, domains that only where the PR has been verified by PR PowerShot to be a real PR. Uh, the next thing I'm going to set here is the domain age. And I want, uh, I, I pick domains older than three years. That's good. Sometimes some people, some people to get more results, they'll do two years, but I like older than three. Uh, this is important too. You, you, you want your, um, you want your domain to have plenty of existing backlinks. Uh, and, and you're going to want to take a look at the backlink profile, which I'll show you, um, how to do later as well. Some people like to set the domain length to 10 characters and less, uh, but for my purposes, I don't really care at this point. It, I, it works for me. Uh, these domains have been working for me with, with uh, I have one that I think is like 23 characters long, and it's, it's definitely helped in ranking a specific site that I've been trying to rank with it. So, And then the other thing typically that I'll do, uh, because I'm a little impulsive, <laughs> but I, I, like to, uh, I like to show auctions ending in the next 24 hours, so I'm going to go ahead and set that. You can set... Uh, up to three days, uh, auctions ending in up to three days here. And uh, depending on uh, specifically what I want to do, you know, if I'm going for, if I just need a domain real quick or if I'm, or if I'm uh, looking to, out, to bid and get one cheap, I'll, I'll set this to either buy now or, uh, you know, any of these settings right here. But for now, I'll just leave this on any and then we'll see all the bids. So once I click save this search, it's going to go ahead and show me all the results of all the domains that are available on GoDaddy for um, uh, with my search criteria intact, right? So, and what I like to do is click on backlinks right here. Give it a second. It's gonna re it's gonna resort everything by backlinks, and then I'm gonna click on it again. So it puts all the domains that have the most backlinks at the top of my list, right? Because that's the first thing that I like to look at, right? And what's also important is its page rank whether the page rank is real or not and the domain age and obviously the price uh, so you know this this one looks okay it um, it's four years old real PR of three a little bit of traffic per month estimated ten dollars right now and there is uh, 18 hours left in the auction uh, it looks like it has 20,000 backlinks that's uh, that's that's that looks like a prime domain for us uh, so what I'll do is I'm going to tick that one and I'll go through and I'll find others and I'll tick the box right here and then I'll add them to my uh, review list. Once I have a, a list, a nice review list set up, I'm going to come up right here. You know, I have three or four domains in here. Uh, for now, for this example, I'm just going to use the one. Um, and the, the first thing that I'll do is really quickly uh, to do a manual check to see if the PR is fake or not uh, you can just come into Google and put the domain name in quotes and make sure that 
this comes up as the first result right here. And it's not something like Twitter or anything else. If, if it's something else, what that means is that the person is redirecting the domain to a high PR domain and, and therefore the PR is showing to be something higher than what it is. And that's, that's how they fake uh, PRs when, uh, <clears throat> when auctioning off these websites. So just make sure that when you type in the domain name in quotes up here, that it comes up with that domain name as the first website, which it does. Okay. So we're confident this one is not faking the page rank, so that's good. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to check if this domain name has ever been dropped. Uh, in order to check if a domain has been dropped, what you want to do is um, take your domain name, copy it, go to this website, and I will put this in the, in the uh, description, whois.domaintools.com, and look up your website. And it will say right here if um, if your website has been dropped. So we could see right here, it doesn't look like our website has been dropped. And I will show you now an example of a website that has been dropped and what that looks like. So it says right here under Registrar History, two registrars with two drops. We, we want to avoid that. So this one is only one registrar. And so another way to uh, check if your domain has been dropped is to come up to archive.org, uh, make sure on the web tab, and in the Wayback Machine, just type in your uh, type in your URL there. Because what you want to do is see if there's anything that goes back to before 2009 this date right here because if there is there is something that is on the in the wayback machine that is before then then uh, then you know that that it, it's potentially has been dropped and it doesn't it doesn't look like there's anything in the wayback machine before 2010 so I think this is uh, it's safe to assume here that that devour Eugene has not been dropped and that uh, we're, we're safe on that so we've checked now whether or not this has fake PR, which it doesn't, uh, and, we, and we've checked to see if this domain has been um, dropped by, by any registrar, and it has not been. So um, the next thing we want to do is we want to check the backlinks. And there's a few ways I like to check the backlinks. Um, I, I'll use a program called SEO Spyglass, um, which, uh, which is by uh, part of the SEO Power Suite. It's, it's free to check up to 1,000 backlinks. Um, and uh, I'll just go in here. I'll put a link to this also in the uh, in the description down there. And it'll go out and it'll check it'll check uh, the backlinks that are pointing uh, many of the backlinks that are pointing to this website. It's not going to get them all. No backlink checking solution ever gets them all. Um, but it, it's good to just check them all, check all of the uh, all of the different backlink solutions, and uh, to find the actual link profile of this website. Uh, so then I'll go ahead and I'll just check um, check the links. The, the nice part about this program is is that it will uh, it'll show me a bunch of different uh, information <clears throat> regarding the links that uh, are coming into this website. Click on finish, <clears throat> and we can see uh, what kind of links we have pointing back. Um, Generally, if there's no uh, links back on a page, that means that there is no link on there, so it can't find a link, or the page is missing. Uh, so really, we have these uh, these these links right here, these PR2 links pointing back from this website right here. Take a look. Kind of just go to the website and see what the website is and why it's linking this website to make sure that you can keep the uh, can keep the link because you don't want to lose any of these links because you might lose your uh, your domain your authority on the domain. Uh, see, this looks like a link that's gonna get deleted pretty soon if because the picture is missing. So, anyways, just go through and take a look at the link profile, see what links are going where. Uh, if if these are all coming from the same spot, you know this is <clears throat> this isn't a perfect situation here. Um, you know, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, go 
and I'm just going to click the backlinks, the number here in PR PowerShot, and it's going to take me to Majestic SEO. Uh, so it's showing all these 18 referring domains, 20,000 backlinks. You know, 18, 18 referring domains isn't, isn't that good. Uh, this, the, the citation for the trust flow is not too good. I actually, I actually don't think I would purchase this domain because you're going to want, uh, I mean, I, I usually want the trust flow of 20 or higher. And, uh, I, I usually want more, uh, more referring domains than this. Uh, 50 is good. Uh, even, even 30 or 40 is, is okay. And, and then, uh, you know, what kind of links are coming in? Uh, you know, the link type was an, a deleted image. That's not good. That link's probably going to go away at some point. Uh, that, and that's actually probably the link we just looked at, uh, which is this one here. Yeah, it's one of these right here that we also got from uh, PowerSuite over there. Yeah, so this looks like actually a bad domain. So, you know, we, we would weed this one out. Theoretically, we wouldn't want this one. We wouldn't bid on this one. But t if you had, uh, say, uh, you know, like I said, 30, 30 to 50 referring domains, you had a few, um, a bit of link diversity here, and, uh, and you checked out these links and made sure that the link profile was going to stay intact, then you could go ahead and, uh, you know, buy up this domain or start uh, bidding on it. So you have to go through a few of these before you can find a good one to start bidding on. You know, but after the first couple, you'll you'll start to really get the hang of it. Or you can even use this video to train a VA who can then send you a list uh, of research domains for approval, uh, and then you can and then you can go ahead and start building your blog network that way. And one last note is that you're going to want to make sure that you purchase domain privacy uh, with GoDaddy when you register these domains, and that you either set these blogs up using Cloudflare, which is free. SEO hosting or uh, set up the blogs on a few different shared hosting providers and I've put some links to all of the resources mentioned in this video in the description for you.